Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. We are here today to go over the weekly horoscopes for August 22nd through August 28th. If you would like to skip ahead to just your zodiac sign, it will be on the timeline below listed for you. Or you can check the description and it will give you the exact time of where your sign will begin. So let's get started. First up, we have Aries. Now Aries. When the week begins, you might be feeling especially assertive and confident when it comes to sharing your thoughts and ideas with higher ups. You might also be more amped to dive into grand scale projects that are actually more than you can realistically take on now. For that reason, you'll do well to approach this moment with a more measured perspective as much as possible. Later, you'll want to put what's in your heart into action in terms of a group project, or communal effort. Trust your instincts and know you have what it takes to take on whatever major initiative you have in mind. You're sure to shine. You have a wonderful week ahead of you. Remember, though you have all of these great ideas, thoughts, things that you want to put into play right now, it might not be realistic at this time. But don't give up. Because you'll take this moment to actually think about it and figure out what is possible. That way you can do what is actually in your heart and put these into action. Trust your instincts. That is the major key of this week. And remember, you're going to shine. You're going to shine bright. Let's move on to our next one. We have our Taurus. This is also my sign. Before we begin, I do want to say that last week's horoscope was right on the money. Me and my boyfriend are both Taurus, and I did feel like it fit him more than it fit myself. But I also did see where it fit for me as well. And every week I will try to update you and if anybody else would like to update me on if their sign was accurate i would love to share that with everybody so for this week at the start of the week you'll be driven to learn or teach explore or travel your general mood should be bright and cheerful, even jubilant, especially 
if you allow yourself to get swept up in the moment and tap into what your heart and intuition are telling you. Later, given the energy of the moment, you could feel as though you're in your element and radiating from the inside out. This could be a dynamic time for working on anything that can help you feel even more comfortable in your own skin and for blistering your sense of purpose and identity. So our week is gonna start off very driven, ready to go, ready to learn something new, teach something to somebody, explore something that we wanted to explore or travel to somewhere we might have wanted to travel before. Our mood will be bright. It'll be glowing with happiness and excitingness. And we need to allow ourselves not to be swept up in the moment. But keep that energy of the moment going and that will help us be in our element where we radiate to others where we share our energy with not just ourselves but other people around us and then we will feel more comfortable being in our own skin and have a sense of purpose or who we really are. And that is all great things. So we have a great week ahead of us. Let's move on to our next one. We have our Gemini. Now, Gemini, you might find it tough to see eye to eye with a coworker or someone higher up in the first part of your week. Or it might be a time when you have to take on a task that you're less than enthusiastic about. Either way, all you can do is take a deep breath and move through that moment as best you can. Later, you're encouraged to crave out more time to care for yourself, your soul, your spirit, because this period of downtime was made for taking your energetic output down a notch and focusing on activities like daydreaming and journaling. By allowing yourself the space and time for this, you'll be rested and rejuvenated as you head into the coming weeks. So though the first part of your week, you might not see eye to eye with somebody or you might have something that you necessarily aren't too happy that you have to do, remember, just take that deep breath, do the best you can and move through it. Then you will take some time for yourself. 
So that way you can take a better look at what you're feeling in your heart, in your soul, in your spirit. It'll take down some of your energy, but you'll be focused on better activities that will focus on taking care of yourself. Whether it's journaling down your thoughts, maybe writing some poetry, daydreaming, making up stories, just having some time to yourself. You need that space. It will help you be rested and feel better for the next few weeks that are up to come. Let's move on to our next sign. We have our Cancer. Now, <clears throat> Cancer, at the start of the week, you're sure to be feeling fortunate in matters of the heart or simply in terms of your closest friendships. Express what is in your heart to your significant other or dearest friend, which can have you feeling even more lucky and joyful all around. Later, you'll want to make some of your most romantic fantasies come true. Take the initiative and share your desires with your partner. It can be a major step in terms of getting on the same page and turning up the volume on your shared passion and intimacy. You have a wonderful week ahead of you, Cancer. You will be feeling so fortunate when it comes to having either a close friend around or just expressing what's on your heart and on your mind to someone that's very important to you, whether it's a friend or a significant other. This is going to give you a boost of feeling more joyful than you've ever felt and feeling lucky that you have these people in your life. They're telling you to take this moment to make those romantic fantasies come true. Though it might sound silly, sometimes talking to your partner about a shared desire can actually turn up the romance, but also put you on the same page. So though it might sound weird to be like, this is kind of something I'm into, don't be scared. It's going to turn up the volume and make it passionate and intimate with that partner. You have a lovely week ahead of you. Enjoy it. Let's move on to our next one. We have our Leo. Now for all you Leos, you'll find you'll be feeling prepared to be more assertive with your significant other or a dear friend when it comes to sharing what's in your heart as this week begins. It can be easier to initiate a conversation that gets your heart racing. The end result 
could be bolstering your intimacy or enjoying even more one-on-one -on -one time with someone special. Later, you could feel compelled and inspired to step up to the plate, to take on more responsibilities or new higher stake projects, making your intentions known to the higher ups, then knock it out of the park. You're sure to be impressed. So Leo, this week, I want you to go for it. Be assertive with your dear friend or a significant other. Share what's in your heart. This conversation will get your heart racing and pumping. And in the end, will feel so enjoyable that you're spending this time with that one-on-one -on -one person, whether it's a friend or someone very special to you. Then you are going to take on a new project or new responsibility. And someone that's higher up will notice this. See your intentions and see you knock it out of the park because you're going to rock it and you will be very impressed with yourself. Keep that head up. You have a great week ahead of you, Leo. Let's move on to our next one. Up next, we have our Virgo. Now for all you Virgos, you might be feeling more emotionally sensitive than usual, especially when it comes to interactions with your significant other or someone else you consider near and dear at the start of the week. It might be difficult to pinpoint exactly how they're feeling and in turn struggle to respond. Postpone jumping to any difficult conclusions until you have more facts. Later, you might be feeling like getting out of your comfort zone by applying for work that's different from what you've always done or taking a trip somewhere you've never explored. This eye-opening experience can bolster your spirit. So Virgo, though you might feel like you're more emotional than usual at the beginning of this week, when it comes to interacting with someone you really care about, don't let that get you down. And though it might be hard to figure out exactly just how you're feeling, don't let that struggle, not make you respond. As to doing anything to try to figure out just exactly how you're feeling, you might want to wait until maybe you know all the facts before jumping 
to a definite conclusion to exactly how you're feeling. That's okay. That is okay. Then you're going to feel like getting out of your comfort zone. Whether it's trying something new, going somewhere new, or just doing something that you've always maybe thought about doing but never thought you would be able to do. Do it. Because that experience will be a rush of enjoyment and energy that you're soul. Let's move on to our next one. We have our Libra. So Libra, you might feel like you have to take on far too many big picture projects, possibly alongside your significant other or a close colleague at the beginning of the week. This conflict could stir you to reflect on ways to strengthen the balance between your work life and personal life while being honest with your partner about how much you can realistically take on and what you expect them to do as well. Later, you might feel like surface level small talk isn't worth your time. Instead, engaging in deep, heated conversations is what turns you on. So, though you might be feeling like you're too much is on your plate at the moment, don't let this not be a time for you to reflect on what you can take on and what you might need help with and learning to balance work life and personal life. This will be a good time to sit and think about it and then talk with a partner or someone very close to you about what you can do and what you can expect from them. Then after that, you're going to feel like maybe making small talk is not for you. It's not worth your time, which that's fine. Instead, go and engage in those deep heated conversations. Talk to somebody Get it all out and make it something from the heart because that will turn you on and make you feel so much better. Enjoy your week, Libra. Let's move on to our next one. We have our Scorpio. Now for our Scorpios. If there is an important heart to heart talk you've been meaning to initiate with a loved one, you'll have an opportunity window to do that as this week starts. Your heart, your actions are in sync, making it a perfect time to tell and show that person how you're feeling. Later, 
it's easier for you to tune into your spiritual side and even get swept up in a bit of escapism. But at the same time, it can be tough to nail down exactly how you're feeling about a loved one or a partner, especially because clarity and facts tend to evade you now. For that reason, you'll do well to avoid making any sweeping generalized generalizations, or cruel decisions. This is a time for swimming in your daydreams, which is okay. So, the beginning of the week, you might have been feeling like you need to talk to somebody. Have a real one-on-one, heart-to-heart kind of talk. This will be the perfect opportunity for you to do that. It'll feel so much better because you'll be so in sync with that person. And it's a great time to show them and to tell them just how you're feeling. Then You'll be more tuned in to your spiritual side. And you might feel like you're getting a bit swept up or feel a bit of escapism, which is fine. Though it might be tough to figure out just exactly how you're feeling about someone Don't let that make you make any rash decisions. Avoid that. Kind of put them to the side for now. And take this opportunity to kind of daydream and relax and enjoy that moment. You'll come back to this. But you'll have a good week. Don't let some of the more scary things hold you down. Let's move on to our next one. We have our Sagittarius. Now, Sagittarius, you could be feeling optimistic about prospects for new cash flow on the horizon in the beginning of the week. You could then feel compelled to assert your needs in a direct way, but getting into the weeds of your emotions and explaining the root of your desires could make your appeal even stronger. Later, getting more organized and on top of healthy habits could be your main focus. Learning to love lists and boundaries, or at least implement more of them into your daily routine can maximize your productivity and make you feel more balanced and vital overall. So in the beginning of this week, you are going to be very optimistic about maybe starting a new avenue 
to a cash flow to help make some money. You will feel compelled to put your needs in a direct way. But the first thing you need to do is get down to the nitty gritty, as they say, the weeds of your emotion and kind of explaining and understanding the roots of your desires. This will make it even stronger if you sit there and try to figure it out. Then you need to get more organized and get on top of having better healthy habits. Though you might not like lists or having structure, you will learn to love it and learn to love having certain boundaries that you didn't know you love would love. Once you start putting this into your daily routine, this is going to help you become more productive and make you feel so much better overall. You have a great week ahead of you. Let's move on to our next one. We have our Capricorn. Now Capricorn. When the week starts, you could find yourself feeling like you have the world at your fingertips and you're able to pursue whatever goal your heart and mind are set on. Take advantage of this optimistic view by diving into whichever opportunity you're learning and personal growth most appeals to you. Later, you have extra confidence and go-getter energy to make bold moves related to your cash flow, applying for new jobs, making a play for more responsibility, having a critical meaning with a higher up or taking on an ambitious pitch could lay the groundwork for increased professional fulfillment and rewards. So though you might feel at the beginning of this week that you have the world at your fingertips, that is a good thing. Do everything you want into pursuing a goal or something that your heart and mind have been wanting to do for a long time. You need to take on this opportunity that you have. You are going to grow and it will bring you happiness in your life. And with that will bring you extra confidence and more energy to move to wanting to better equip yourself with more of an opportunity to get more money. Whether it's looking for a new job or taking more responsibility in the job you have or sitting down with someone that's higher up and talking with them about something that you can do to be better and make it better for them. Having this 
will increase your professional flow that you have going on and bring so much fulfillment, joy, and rewards to your life. You have a wonderful week ahead of you, Capricorn. Enjoy it. Let's move on to our next one. We have our Aquariuses. Now, Aquarius, you might feel torn between opening up about what's on your mind and retreating as the week starts. Taking some solid time to tap into your true feelings, perhaps through meditation or journaling can help you feel more centered and prepared to pursue your next step. Later, the cosmos is amping up the potential for this to be a warm and loving period for connecting with loved ones and staying close to home to enjoy the little things that make you feel secure and at peace. Think cooking up your favorite recipes or gardening. So though at the beginning of this week you might feel torn, this is the best time to sit down, think about what's on your mind, and then taking that time Maybe to meditate, journal, think through exactly just how you're feeling so that way you can better center your soul and also help prepare you for your next step. Then the cosmos will be bringing some warmth and love into your life, allowing you to connect with people that you love. And maybe this time to stay at home and just enjoy the little things in life that just make you feel at peace or secure and remembering just how lucky you really are. I hope you enjoy this time and do great things. Even if they might seem small, they'll be large to you and that's what matters. Let's move on to our next one. And of course, we have our Pisces. Now, Pisces. In the beginning of the week, you might feel like you need to focus your energy on something less than pleasurable out of a sense of duty. You could find it challenging to differentiate between what you're feeling and the fact of the matter. And your typically on point sense of other people's emotions could feel off right now. Your best bet is to focus on grounding yourself So that later, you can add more social time to your schedule. Think video chats with siblings or impromptu picnics. It's these simple but special moments that can boost your well-being. 
So though at the beginning of the week, you might feel like you have to put all of your energy into something that might not be so pleasurable, but something that you know you have to do. It might be challenging. And you might have a bit of a time where you feel like, do I have to do this? Or do I have to do this because it matters? Which you will figure out. You are best to focus on yourself when it comes to these kind of things. And that way, later on, you can enjoy some social time, whether it's hanging out with a friend, video chatting with a sibling you haven't seen, going on a little picnic date, as they suggest. It's little things and special moments that will help boost you and your well-being. You will have a great week. Don't let the start of your week hold you back. So let's finally move on to our You're Doing a Freaking Great Job book. I have the book right here, and as I did last week, I just randomly picked a random page. I'm going to pick three and read it for you. So, the first page is, give yourself a pep talk, which I agree. Sometimes you need to give yourself a pep talk, like you can do this. You're doing great. Don't let this hold you back. Keep going. Don't stop. Sometimes you need to be that person for yourself to motivate yourself. You're not always going to have someone there rooting for you, but you could be that person rooting for you, whether there is somebody or not. Ooh. This next page that I stopped on says, the sun shines not on us, but in us. And on the back page, it says, a simple workspace makeover. The ancient Chinese art of feng shui can bring simplicity and positivity to any space you inhabit regularly. Practitioners believe that every object in a person's environment contributes to the state of his or her livelihood and affects the flow of energy, chi as they would call it, within the space. So here are a few tips to beckon better vibes, to attract prosperity, place a plant in the back left corner of your desk, which is the space said to represent wealth. Place a reference book or inspiring intellectual object on the front left corner of your desk to invite wisdom into your work life. And then it says to add something made of wood for a boost of inspiration. This is especially effective object is placed in the Eastern corner. I love that. I love that they give you this little bit of soul searching sometimes and little things to help you out on the back side. So remember the sun shines not on us, but in us. And lastly, let's get a good one. Okay. We have nothing to fear 
as long as we believe, which is so true. We have nothing to fear as long as we believe, whether it's we believe in something higher than us, we believe in ourselves, we believe in others, we have nothing to fear as long as we believe. So that is it for this week's horoscopes. I'm so happy that I can bring this back for you guys each week. Like I said, I will be adding more and more as we go into this more and more together. So stay tuned for much more amazing things. We have the beginning of a new week coming next week. So I have to see, but I have some plans on bringing something for the beginning of each month. So hopefully I can introduce that into next week's weekly horoscopes, as well as a couple other great things to help you get through your week and just put yourself back in a space that's more positive and have a insight to what you might feel like you will go through and things that can help you get through some of those things that they suggest you might go through. I love doing this with you guys. I love doing this in general. I'm happy that I can bring this for you guys and I hope that you really enjoy these. Let me know down below in the comments how last week's horoscopes went for you and let me know what you think about this week's. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more of these weekly horoscopes. I hope you all have a wonderful evening and I will see you again tomorrow for our kick back and chat. It's going to be me and Fred Franklin, who is a great friend of mine. He's also a creator here on YouTube. So definitely check out his channel. We are going to have some fun and we would love for you guys to come have fun with us. It'll also be an open panel. So if anyone does want to join us on panel, you are more than welcome to. I have also a couple other things that I'm bringing to you guys. So stay tuned for that as well. Bye everyone.